Hi, I'm Jerry. And I'm Jill. And it's been almost two years, but we're heading out on our first cruise. Stay tuned to see what ship we're going on. So we're going on a holiday cruise over Christmas and New Year's, and I'm going to give you one more hint as to what ship we're going to be on. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't help, we're both wearing orange, which is the color Last they have. We are going on Holland America again. Last time we cruised, it was Holland America, and we're doing it once again. Yes. What ship? We are going on the new Stottendam. New Stottendam. I think we're saying it right. Okay, hats off, and let's talk about the cruise, and let's talk about all the things we've had to go through as Canadians to get mm. on a cruise. The border is opening up as of November 8th, so that's exciting that we can drive potentially to an airport, but we are not doing that. We're going out of Toronto. Uh, we figured just with the testing protocols and all that that's still in place that we kind of know how that works, so we're feeling better about going through a process we've seen other people now do for the last couple months. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be exciting. So. We're going to be on, this is our first back-to-back -back cruise. Yes, we're doing 14 days, which normally in our work schedule, we don't have the time allotted to do that. So um, we are doing it this time. We've thought we've been without cruises long enough that we need to do 14 days to really get it, <laughs> get into the groove. <laughs> we're going to get two years of not cruising, all jammed into one cruise, and then a few months later, we go on another cruise. So okay. yeah, so it's going to be exciting to get back to cruising. We have... Uh, Front of center, of course, is the concern about cruising. Canadians are still being advised not to cruise, uh, even though many are now cruising. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think that there's enough safe protocols in place. Everybody is being tested that we're, we're comfortable with that. Our biggest fear is getting from Canada to the cruise line in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, but we'll navigate that and be safe as we can along the way. And, and uh, also flying out of Canada now, everybody has to be vaccinated on the aircraft. So that's another level of protection that we're comfortable with. Yeah. And then on the cruise ship, we're doing something exciting as well. What have we got booked on the cruise ship? We have booked a private cabana for the 14 mm. days. So, you know, we did that on our last Hall in America cruise. Absolutely loved it. Highly recommend it. Um, but it, it gives us an extra piece of security this time in that we're going to have our own little space yep. and uh, we feel a little bit safer and we're also getting a little, more, little bit spoiled. Yep. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, for sure. Last time on, on the new Amsterdam, uh, if you go watch that video, we had a, uh, a poolside cabana is what we had. Right. And we enjoyed that. We thought that was a lot of fun. And we thought for the for the money it cost, it was a great to have our own little space on the deck that we can enjoy and privacy if we wanted to. And, and the butler is fantastic. That whole having someone get everything you need. And for us, it's a little uncomfortable. We're, we're happy going and getting our own food from the buffet, but our butler would give us a heck if we went and did it ourselves. So, mm -hmm. but we're looking forward to that because that's, again, less time we spend walking around the general area of the ship. And so it reduces the risk. And But this time we're not doing the poolside cabana. This no. time we're doing the retreat cabana. Right. And so we overlook the pool area to mm -hmm. some extent, um, but it does come with its own private hot tub in that area just for retreat guests. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be able to have a little bit of water without having to go down to the pool area if you uh, just want to uh, get wet for a little bit. Yeah, and they have showers up there. Yeah, and on this cruise, we booked an interior cabin. Right. And we just have a, a small interior cabin, no view of the outside, but. Part of our thinking was in booking the retreat cabana it was not only just for a little bit of isolation, our own space on the ship, but also we're going to spend almost our entire day up in the retreat cabana. So that kind of, it, it works out well for us. We go down there, we'll change, we sleep, and we get up and we spend the rest of the time on the ship and have our own spot on the ship, which is one of the nice perks of, of having the, the retreat cabana. So yeah, that's why we decided instead of booking a balcony room, we spent the money that we would spend on a balcony room in, um, in the retreat cabana. So on this cruise over 14 days, we're doing two different legs. So it's actually two seven day cruises jammed back to back. So we're gonna come back to Fort Lauderdale halfway through and we've heard that we'll have to be tested again at that midway point. So we'll see how that looks. And, and Holland America takes care of all that as well as our testing to return back to Canada. Holland America also does the PCR testing that's required for that. So a lot of those pieces that we were uncertain about in August when we tried to cruise on Carnival, we've, we have come together now for the Holland America cruise. So that feels better for us. But yeah, seven days, uh, the first itinerary is kind of a uh, Eastern Caribbean. Uh, we hit uh, Grand Turks, San Juan, uh, St. Thomas, 
Am I missing one in there somewhere? Oh, we come back up and catch the Bahamas. Half Moon K as yes. well. Half Moon Key. Half Moon Key, yes. yeah. And we've been there before, but we were only on the ship. I was sick that day and didn't get a chance to get off. And we hear the beaches are beautiful. So we're doing Half Moon Key on the end of the first seven day leg. And then the next seven days, what are we off to there? We're going to be going back to the Keys, to Half Moon Key. Um, yep, second time on this 14 day. Yep. And then we have a spot, a stop in Jamaica. Yep, and I believe we're going to, we're supposed to go to Grand Cayman. Right. We hear that they're not accepting cruise ships. We're anticipating a change in itinerary for that second seven days. So we're kind right. of waiting to see what happens. So we're not sure. Yeah. And right now we're supposed to be spending uh, the d one day in Cozumel yes. also. Yep. So we're going to wait and see how that plays out. I'm sure that we're going to have an update on that as we get a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's the itinerary. And, and uh, we had a great package booked with, with Holland America. Uh, the tips are included. We had specialty dining. We have shore excursion credits. We have the drink package as well. So this will be 14 days with the drink package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never done that before. <laughs> Could be some interesting <laughs> vlogging coming your way. <laughs> or we're never going to want to have a drink package again. One of the two things is going to happen. Yeah. Before we went cruising, we we had um, gone to a few all-inclusives in the Caribbean. And I always found with a drink package at an all-inclusive, by day three or four, I was like done with alcohol. <laughs> so we'll see what this one entails. Yeah, we've, we've done some Norwegian cruises where the drink package was included. That's our only experience with full oh, drink package true. included on a ship. So we've, we've done it before and uh, we'll, we'll see, uh, we'll keep a drink count and see how that works out and see if it's worth the additional cost. Holland America at the time that we booked this had a really good deal and it was, it was you know, promotion, only yeah. a couple hundred dollars more. And we figured that was well worth it even for a glass of wine or two in the evening at dinner. It's, it's kind of breaks even. So yeah. Yeah. So, but we're going to be excited. This is a, a new Holland America ship for us. We've only done the new Amsterdam. So the new Staten Dom is a, is a little bit newer and uh, slightly bigger, but I, yeah. I don't think a heck of a lot bigger. Yeah, It looks beautiful yes. from what we've seen. I'm, I'm very excited to see what the ship looks like in person, but from the videos we've watched, it looks very classy, uh, very, you know, sophisticated. And uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many children are on. They're just starting to roll out vaccinations for children. So they are becoming eligible, but Holland America doesn't have the, you know, the big water slides and the theme parks type of um, mm -hmm. things that are on other cruise ships. So likely not a lot of kids, but lots of multi-generational families we have found in the past. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the whole experience and definitely looking forward to get back on a cruise ship. Can't wait to, uh, for sure. to step on this ship for the first time in two years. And oh, it's going to be, it'll be two it, years. It'll be exactly. Amazing. It'll be amazing getting back to doing what we love. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed because we are going to be giving full coverage for this cruise and providing all the details yeah. and let you know how the cabana works. And Follow along because yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of things we learn yeah. and we'll share all the things we learn with you guys. Yes, for sure. Yep. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't done so, also follow us on Instagram. Uh, you know, Jill's always on there chatting back and forth with people and answering questions and uh, part of the cruise community. So um, yeah, we, we are doing this along side you. We're going to see how this works so everybody can get back to cruising and uh, hopefully by then the Canadian government has lifted the advisory and uh, we're seeing things return back to normal in the cruise world for us Canucks. Yes. So in just over a month we'll be on a ship. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a blast. Well, thanks for watching everybody and uh, stay tuned for more videos as we get closer to our return to cruising. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.